Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Golden Cadillac. Ice cream <sighs> drinks. Like Delicious. It. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're not ashamed to say that we like ice cream drinks. Why would you be ashamed? Because people are, because cocktail snobs poo-poo ice cream drinks. They poop ice cream drinks? They poo-poo them, <laughs> and they go home and they probably drink them like with all, with all the blinds drawn. Right, right. Because they're delicious. <laughs> this, the Golden Cadillac, was invented in El Dorado, California, at Poor Red's Barbecue Shack back in the 60s, early 60s. Right? Yeah. It seems like a lot of ice cream drinks came out of the 60s. Yes. I always oh. wondered why that is. A whole fad. Yeah. Well, people started having money. Ice cream. How can you go wrong with ice cream? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Women were putting their kids to bed, and then they had to, needed, needed something to do, right? Right, yeah. I said, while the kids are napping, mom's drinking the golden grasshopper. Or yeah. golden grasshopper. Golden grasshopper. Golden Cadillac. Golden Cadillac, yeah. And then the grasshopper. <clears throat> There you go. You can see our grasshopper cocktail too, mm -hmm. if you want. But uh, poor Reds claim they go through more Galliano than anywhere on the planet. Probably the universe. Probably the universe too, <laughs> yes. Um, so this drink is easy. We're going to make it two ways here on this video. The blended, ver the blended version with ice cream. Yep. And then the shaken version where we use cream. All right? Mm -hmm. Both delicious. So it depends on if you want to... Wash this afterwards and have ice cream handy. Right. Because that's a little more of a pain to wash than that. That's true. Right? But they're equally delicious. You need uh, Galliano, some white cream de coco, and vanilla ice cream or heavy cream, depending on the kind you're making. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. All right. Let's, Let's proceed. See. Let's do this side by side. I will pour mine and then you pour yours. We, need a half, uh, we each need an ounce and a half of the Galliano. Galliano is an Italian liqueur made in the 1890s and named after an Italian war hero. Captain Galliano. I don't Captain. know what his rank was. <laughs> Sergeant. Usually it's some like private who does something heroic. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to pour this right in my blender. Put that in my shaker. It's an anise flavored liqueur, but unlike Sambuca or something that is very licorice tasting, mm -hmm. um, the Galliano, it's. Um, it's made with anise, lavender, uh, ginger, citrus rinds and stuff. And after it's distilled, they um, mix it with pressed vanilla beans. So it gives it a nice, delicate yeah. flavor. That makes sense that that would taste, taste good with ice cream. Yes. Mm -hmm. One and a half ounces of white cream de coco. And then I just need two and a half ounces. Yes, of you need two and a half ounces of heavy, heavy cream. cream. And I need five ounces of ice cream. And what Phil and I do when we get our tub or box of ice cream is we cut it immediately into five ounce blocks and wrap it in wax paper. If you have the 1.5 quart ice cream containers that you see nowadays in the store, do you remember when those used to be two quarts? Dude. I remember getting the gallon. Oh, yeah. That's what we always got. We well, got we the did too. Because we had ice cream every night. But then they had the half gallon size, and it was two quarts. And then somewhere along the way, they conned us, and now it's one and a half quarts. They and they think we didn't know quarts. us. <laughs> yeah, they think we didn't notice that. That's just a crime. It's like, it's like Campbell's soup cans now are suddenly like this big. When I was your age, they were like about this big. All right, whatever. We always got the gallon, the huge gallon tub of ice cream. I think that's two gallons. Is it two gallons? Maybe not. No, it's just a little All right. You're going to shake yours with ice? Yep. I'm going to blend mine. We're about to make a lot of noise here. That's right. Ready? We'll, set? We'll race. All right. Go. Go. Oh, my God. Why is that unplugged yet? <laughs> so I'm way ahead of you already. Dude, did you unplug that? <laughs> All right, so about 20 seconds each. I think you did it on purpose. <laughs> and then uh, to garnish this, you know, just pour this right into a glass is the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. but we have some chocolate syrup that we put in this little plastic thing. It's like Hershey's syrup, 
although we don't use Hershey's brand. But just we like making you can make any sort of shape you want. We like doing a little corkscrew pattern to the top. But you can do checkerboards or I can, we should do tic tac toe in there. That you would be should. very That'd creative. Be hilarious. You've got the tough glass to do because it's hard to put that in there. We put it in the, the smaller container because it's easier to get, obviously, uh, inside your glass. Nice. There we go. All right. I'll pour mine in, and then you can do yours. Very nice. And we leave a little room on top for some whipped cream. Just a dollop. <laughs> I have a little more in mine. And a few chocolate shavings. You're getting a little anxious, aren't you? I am. It looks good. All right. And there you have your golden Cadillac. Enjoy. Cheers.